Epigenetics is the study of changes in gene function that are heritable and that are not attributed to alterations of the DNA sequence. Epigenetics can cause changes in gene expression, but that are not changes in the DNA sequence. These mechanisms include DNA methylation, histone modification, and non-coding RNA such as microRNAs and the effect of non-coding repeating regions in the DNA code. Before we go into the specifics of epigenetic variation or regulation, let's discuss the structure of DNA and how it is organized in eukaryotic cells. As you remember, the foundational understanding about phenotypes is that DNA codes for genes, those genes are transcribed into mRNA which are then translated into proteins. However, these processes appear to be regulated by a variety of mechanisms that are not directly recorded in the actual code of DNA. In fact, individuals and members of different species can have similar DNA like twins or many conserved genes like humans and monkeys, but significant phenotypic variation can be easily observed that is the result of epigenetic changes that are either established and passed through generations or acquired and lost throughout the organism's lifetime. The eukaryotic cell has a nucleus that contains tightly packaged DNA folded into structures that we all know as chromosomes. These are packaged together by the way of chromatin protein complexes that the DNA is wrapped around. On these images, you can see how the DNA string has more bumps or beads. These visible beads are called histones. When these beads were originally discovered, scientists first confused them with genes until eventually it was proven that the string-like structures actually contained the genetic code. Histones can be either grouped together forming lumps of DNA, or as we can see in the picture on the right, relaxed and spread out. The changes in the way DNA is packaged is used for cell division when whole chromosomes need to be moved around or to regulate what code is more or less accessible for transcription. The regulation of DNA compactness is regulated in several ways. One of these is DNA methylation. Cytosine is one of the nucleotide that can be modified by a methyl group, CH3, catalyzed by a specialized enzyme called DNA methyltransferase. In the first minutes of life, when we are composed of a single cell, and this epigenetic information has been wiped clean in the fertilized egg, the methyl groups have been removed and every gene is like all the others. Through the process of cell differentiation, DNA methyltransferases add methyl groups to genes shutting off some, inactivating others. When a cell divides, the epigenetic information must be transmitted to each of the new cells by a different DNA methyltransferase, called DNMT1. DNMT1 adds the proper methyl groups to these DNA strands as it is replicated. The information is propagated in a tricky way. The methyl groups almost always added to cytosine bases with these sequences, CG and GC. Notice that both strands have a cytosine. So, in a methylated region of DNA, both strands will have a methyl group when the DNA is replicated. Each of the new DNA double helices will have one old strand, complete with methyl groups, and one new strand which is not methylated. So DNMT1 just needs to look for the CG bases sites, where only one strand has a methyl group. The basic repeating unit of chromatin is the nucleosome, in which 146 base pairs of DNA wraps around an octamer of core histones consisting of pairs of H3, H4, H2A, and H2B. The terminal tails of histones protrude out of the nucleosome and are subject to a variety of post-translational modifications, such as acetylation, phosphorylation, ubiquitination, and lysine and arginine methylation. Acetylation was the first of these modifications to be linked with active transcription. Subsequently, phosphorylation of histone H3 was found to cooperate with a situation in translational activation. Some histone methylation events have also been associated with transcription activation and others with gene silencing. One important aspect of histones is that they can be changed to alter how much packing the DNA is capable of. There are several modifications that affect how well DNA is packaged. The basic regulation is done via groups of atoms that are at the ends of histones. These can be of several types and will have a positive or a negative charge that either attract them together or force them apart. The DNA region that is wrapped around the histones can be more or less accessible causing variation in gene expression. 
Histone proteins or nucleosomes undergo a host of different post-translational modifications including phosphorylation, acetylation, and methylation, which have profound effects on the remodeling of chromatin. Histone modifications can function either individually or combinatorially to govern such processes as transcription, replication, DNA repair, and apoptosis. The methyl groups of atoms increased packing. Acetyl group decreases packing. Phosphoryl group can be attached to the histones and cause a decrease in packing. These groups of atoms are attached to various types of histones at various locations. As the DNA is wrapped around the histones and can be more or less accessible, various positions of the DNA are affected. These include the promoter region, transcription start sites, and the introns and exons of genes. Each one of these elements can have a significant effect on the level of gene expression, on alternative splicing, as well as other downstream regulation of pathways.